Today I invite my friends to participate in this event to understand more about our OWSD program and they can apply, they can get the scholarship, they can get the research grant, so they can become scientists forever. Yeah, we are hoping to get 100 members uh, by the end of maybe within one year. Participants are, are come from the different areas. Some are from university, and then you know some are from the um, Department of Agriculture, and some are from NGO, some are from the you know the private company. We can communicate each other, and uh, we can learn the, what are the ch different challenges, different opportunity from different areas. So this is we can share. Women also they don't they they have uh, no confidence they are safe. We have to change our mindsets and also we have to find our opportunities for the future. Role of women and scientists in Myanmar is very important, personally I think. That's why we have to start to organize. That's why we are trying to implement our Myanmar nation chapter. I already finished my degree the four years already, but I couldn't apply the my knowledge and technologies now until today. Uh, we need more infrastructure, uh, we need more facility. So I want to really study in other countries uh, to advance my agriculture knowledge. Our Myanmar National Chapter can support our junior scientists for their future further study and then for the network in the international, internationally and then they can have a more chance to do the research. Our center is the uh, Rice Research Center, but um, our, um, our government uh, limited budget condition, uh, we don't have any research equipment. If we want to uh, develop and we want to uh, upgrade our education level, what is more important? Mobility, you know. We could not go very freely to attend the, any international conference and workshop. Even we have a laboratory equipment and facilities. If we have no technical training, useless. After my master's graduation, I have a chance to go to abroad, the PhD, but my father did not allow me. These uh, women also have uh, some dreams, so I want to support and I want to encourage them as much as I can. Now, first time, we have a 27 or 28 member, so they, they work in the, a lot of countries and also outside. So we can connect. So one of our member, Easy member, is studying on working on post service and management technology. So we are discussing uh, to get some idea from her. We will start with her experience and then we will make a proposal and we will go to a UNDP and we will apply. I want to be a scientist forever. <laughs> we can do together.